Don't chase love, let it come to you. This is the Stoic way, mixing old knowledge with today's world. In this episode, we explore a deep truth. Don't chase love, let it come to you. Let's start with a powerful saying, if you love yourself, you have no competition. This really sums up what we'll talk about today. Think of yourself as the sun in your world of feelings. Instead of looking for love or approval, you shine with confidence and self-belief. This confidence works like a magnet, pulling people to you easily, just like the moon is pulled to the earth. Your self-confidence is so strong, it naturally makes people want to be around you, without you having to ask or expect too much. Today, we're going to look at how love and relationships work from a stoic point of view. We'll discover how knowing yourself, trusting yourself, and having self-respect are important in making real, happy relationships. Stoicism shows us that to have a good relationship, it's not about winning or always giving, but about being true to who you are. We'll also see how growing as a person affects our fate. Just like stars changing in the sky, we change too. When we show our best selves, we naturally create and keep good relationships. Before we start this exciting trip, I encourage you to watch this video till the end, because every tip we give is important. Keep your attention, stay firm, and remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more stoic wisdom. Let's get going. In our modern world with all the tech and social media, it's harder to make real human connections. While this digital era has lots of benefits, it also keeps us from true face-to-face -face interactions, making it tougher to form deep relationships. Stoicism, an old philosophy full of wisdom, might not talk specifically about love relationships, but its ideas give us great understanding about this part of life. In this episode, we'll explore how Stoic teachings can help you see and understand the reasons behind your choice of a partner. Stoicism shows us how important it is to be aware and understand things well in our lives. By really noticing what's happening around you, you get what you need to reach your goals. When looking for a partner, use Stoic thinking instead of just feelings. It's about finding someone who shares your deepest beliefs, someone who really matches with you. As the Stoic thinker Epictetus said, we have two ears and one mouth to listen more than we talk. In relationships, this means not just hearing words, but also noticing actions and habits. It's about getting to know someone deeply, not just the outside appearance. To really understand love, we need to stop believing in love at first sight. This idea is often made to look good in movies and stories, where love seems to be a quick, intense feeling based mostly on how someone looks or a mysterious attraction. But we shouldn't be fooled by such make-believe ideas, whether they come from our own thoughts or what society tells us. Love isn't just a lucky find, like a shiny treasure you come across. It's more like a garden that needs a lot of work and care. This means putting in constant effort, being completely dedicated, having patience, giving it time, and most of all, having trust. True love breaking, especially because of betrayal, can hurt a lot. It's really important to know the difference between true love, being obsessed, and just feeling attracted to someone physically. Mixing these up can lead to unhealthy relationships and make getting over someone really hard. Getting these mixed up can hurt someone emotionally for a long time, leaving them sad for years or even their whole life. Like the wise Stoic Seneca said, we often feel more pain in our thoughts than in real life. This is especially true when it comes to love. We should think about love in a clear way, knowing it's about growing together and respecting each other, not just a short burst of excitement. In today's world where we want things right away, it's really important to see love as something that grows slowly over time. 
The tip here is to treat love like a long-term project. Put in time and effort and don't expect quick results. This way, you not only make yourself happier emotionally, but it also fits with the stoic idea of living in a natural way, letting love grow on its own without pushing it. Real love is all about understanding someone, being committed, and really valuing who they are as a person. It's about liking and respecting not only who your partner is today, but also who they are becoming. This is a key part of a stoic relationship and any healthy, loving relationship. Remember, the relationships you take care of have a big impact on your life. We're talking about romantic relationships here, but this idea works for all kinds of relationships. It's important to know that love isn't just about your partner. You need to love yourself too. True love means caring for someone else the way you care for and respect yourself and expecting them to love you back the same way. Seneca once mentioned, we often feel worse in our thoughts than in real life. He believed that our feelings, like love, should be based on real things, not on being too obsessed or having impossible hopes. This fits really well with what we're talking about today. Don't chase after love. Rather, grow a love that's real, shared, and based on understanding and respecting each other. To wrap up, friends, work on creating relationships where love comes easily and is based on really getting and valuing each other. As someone who follows Stoicism, keep your feelings in check with smart thinking and let your relationships bring you peace and strength. This way leads to not just a happy love life, but a happy life in general. Stoicism tells us that giving back what we get, being fair and kind, is important. It shows how we're all connected, part of a bigger group, and our actions should help everyone. This idea of giving back works really well in personal and romantic relationships. It means saying thank you and recognizing what our partners do for us, which makes our relationship stronger. Think of it like a dance where both people are sharing and responding equally, making a pattern of mutual respect and thankfulness. When it comes to love, Stoicism teaches a big lesson don't ever beg for love. Real, deep love should be something that's shared and respected by both people. It's important to know your value and keep your self-respect. Stoicism tells us not to give more in a relationship than we get back. This isn't about counting every little thing, but making sure that both love and effort are given and received equally. Think about what Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, said. We have two ears and one mouth, so we should listen more than we talk. In relationships, this means we should pay attention to what our partners and we need, making sure we both give and get equally. If you're in a situation where you're giving more love than you're getting, it's a sign you need to think things over, keep your pride, and know when it's time to leave. Even though it hurts, it's important for your emotional and mental health. Stoicism doesn't mean just putting up with pain quietly. It's about knowing when to move on for your own good. So, as we deal with love and relationships, let's follow the stoic idea of giving and receiving equally, making sure our relationships are based on mutual respect, understanding, and fair sharing. Keep in mind, real love goes both ways and should always feel like a benefit, not a heavy load. When it comes to relationships, having self-respect is like a guiding light, showing the way to real happiness and emotional strength. Imagine being in a place where you're struggling to be happy and your partner's actions keep hurting you. Time has an amazing ability to heal even the worst emotional hurts. Scars might stay as quiet reminders, but they don't mean the damage lasts forever. It's important to know that we can't really change other people. We can only change ourselves. At difficult times in life, Stoic teachings give us helpful guidance. 
think about what Epictetus, a Stoic thinker, said. We can't pick what happens around us, but we can choose how we react. When dealing with someone who won't change, Stoicism tells us to stop worrying about what we can't fix and move forward with our heads held high and self-respect. Let go of things that don't make you happy anymore, keeping only the things you've learned and the strength you've gained. Keep in mind, you're much more than just your temporary feelings. After a relationship ends, you get to decide how to react. Choose to handle it with dignity and use what you've learned for deeper insight and a better understanding of your life's path. This way of dealing with things fits today's love and relationship issues and gives helpful tips for getting through these tricky emotional situations. When searching for a partner for life, it's important to see more than just how they look. Sure, looking good matters in relationships. It's part of the magic of love. But keep in mind, it doesn't last forever. Like the Stoic said, outside beauty is like a leaf blown around by the wind. It's always changing and doesn't stay. Better to pay attention to lasting things like someone's inner qualities, their character, and the beliefs that make a strong, long-term relationship. Keep in mind, being young and good-looking won't last forever. If your relationship is based only on these things, you might end up lost later on. Look for a deeper relationship, one that stays strong and lively over time. Don't get caught up in trying to find someone who looks perfect, which is just a temporary illusion set by what society thinks. You can't redo what's already happened, but you can think about what's ahead. Imagine what your relationship will be like in many years. Focus on finding a partner who is smart, someone you can trust, get advice from, and rely on when things get tough. Stoicism tells us to appreciate being wise and strong. Choose someone you can see yourself creating a life and family with, someone who gives you a feeling of safety and a shared goal. By doing this, you allow yourself to make real connections that make your life better instead of following a dream that ends up disappointing you. In life, and especially in love, remember there are many different people out there. When someone doesn't feel the same way about you, it's not because you're not good enough. It's just that what you both want or are like doesn't match. As the wise Stoic philosopher Epictetus said, it's not what happens, but how you respond that counts. Being rejected isn't a failure, but a chance to look within and grow. It shows that maybe things weren't meant to be, and with time, you'll see this more clearly and be thankful for it. Keep looking for real connections, because the world is big, and there are many people who will appreciate and value who you really are. Your special qualities and being true to yourself are really important to someone who matches well with you. Every time someone says, no, it's not a step back, but a step forward. It's taking you closer to finding a yes that fits perfectly with you. This yes isn't just agreeing to be with you, but a deep understanding of your value and a relationship that will make your life better. In today's world, where relationships can often seem shallow, it's really important to be yourself and not give up what you believe in just to fit in. The right person will appreciate and respect your true self. So, don't ever beg for love. Let who you really are draw the right kind of love to you. This way of thinking not only matches the stoic idea of focusing on what you can control, but also makes sure that the love you get is true and makes you happy. Long ago in ancient Rome, Emperor Marcus Aurelius and his wife Faustina were known for their great respect and admiration for each other, showing what Stoic love is all about. Their marriage wasn't just for show or position, it was a deep connection based on the same beliefs and emotional power. Marcus Aurelius, known for his wisdom and strong belief in Stoicism, saw in Faustina not just a wife, but a lifelong partner, 
who was as mentally and emotionally strong as he was. Their relationship, based strongly on stoic values like self-control, fairness, bravery and smarts, showed their dedication to these ideas in both running an empire and in their own relationship. Together, they dealt with life's tough times in a calm and thoughtful way, showing the stoic way of handling hard situations gracefully. Marcus Aurelius and Faustina faced many problems. Like family losses and political chaos, together strongly, Despite being an emperor with many responsibilities and personal sadness, Marcus Aurelius always had Faustina's strong support. Their relationship was tough enough to ignore outside gossip and problems, showing their stoic bravery and faithfulness. Their story teaches us about love and relationships. In the stoic way, love is an active choice to be committed to someone's character and honesty, not just their looks or what they have. It's about finding someone who matches you well, not just in looks or things, but in a deeper, more meaningful way. As followers of Stoicism, we believe the real worth of a relationship is in its lasting qualities. Seneca once said, we should love people for who they are, not how they look, which really sums up how Marcus and Faustina were together. When dealing with love and relationships, look for a partner who shares your beliefs and feels right for you. Pick someone who will be there for you in tough times, who puts honesty and personality first. This is the way to a truly meaningful and lasting relationship, one that goes beyond just surface level things and is deeply meaningful. Keep in mind, in love and life, what really counts is how deep your connection is, how well your good qualities match, and how much you respect each other. Use this as your guide to find and grow a love that's both wise like stoicism and deep. Life is valuable, so don't get lost in love and miss out on its joys and happiness. Don't stay awake too late to easily get away from problems. Don't think too much so you can feel relaxed and enjoy the natural beauty of life. You always want a future that's better and happier than now, so you work hard and look for chances to do better. But when you often fail, you start to think that failing is not okay in your life. Not having regrets is actually a big regret itself. To really enjoy life, being happy with what you have is very special, because some things aren't meant to be yours, no matter how much effort you put in. Don't love too much. Sometimes you're the only one who feels it and the only one who gets hurt. People say that the more you love, the more you hurt. Loving too much can make you forget who you are and it can mess up your life. In the end, you're just hurting yourself. I know a real story. A girl and her boyfriend were deeply in love for three years, always together and happy. But then the boy got a job in a different city and said he'd call her often. Over time, he called her less and less and then stopped. She found out he had fallen in love with someone else and wanted to end their relationship. She did everything to reach him. She cried, called and texted, asking him to come back. She even traveled by train to his city and waited outside his house for several days but she never got to talk to him and sort things out. Finally, feeling let down, she borrowed money from a friend for a ticket home and never looked back. In that moment, she seemed to have grown up. When you give all your young, passionate love to someone, but you're the only one who cares about it and the only one who feels tired, it's really hard. Loving too much can be like torturing yourself even harder than begging someone to love you. Always keep yourself in mind, no matter what you do. If you can't love yourself, don't wait for others to do it. In life, you'll meet so many people. Some will stay with you for a while, but not all will be there until the end. The one you love with all your heart might only be meant to be in your life for a short time. So, whatever happens, 
always remember to love yourself. Keep in mind, loving too much can burden your life. Do you believe love is so special that you'd give up who you are and your self-respect to get it? Only those who love themselves can truly be loved by others. Don't stay awake too late. Going to bed late can lead you to an early grave. Sleep is a time for your body to rest from a busy day, but a lot of people don't even let themselves rest properly. They stay up all night. They might think that their busy day took all their free time, and night is their only chance to be away from the noise and relax. However, the truth is, how well rested you are at night shows on your face the next day. Also, looking tired and having dark circles under your eyes clearly show it. In the long run, it will really hurt your health. A girl shared her story. After finishing college, she started working at a company. Being new and not very experienced, she often messed up at work. The demanding job and being hard on herself made her very stressed. Slowly, she got into the habit of staying up all night on her phone. She felt that at night, she could do whatever she liked without thinking about work or life, which she thought helped her relax and feel better. However, after a few months, she realized this habit was bad for her. She thought staying up late felt good, but the next day she felt worse and worse. She couldn't wake up in the morning and had to set almost 10 alarms to get out of bed. Even when she woke up, she was really tired, felt dizzy all day, and couldn't focus at work. This led to more mistakes, making her feel unhappy and even more upset. As we end this episode, remember that learning and using these ideas is a constant process. It's about using old wisdom to make our lives now and in the future better. True love and good relationships are about respecting each other, understanding each other, and growing together, not about winning or expecting too much. If you liked our talk today, please remember to hit like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Your support allows us to keep making helpful videos that connect old wisdom with today's challenges. Make sure to turn on notifications so you won't miss our future videos about Stoicism and its impact on your life. Stay strong and smart, and as Marcus Aurelius said, the best way to get back at someone who wronged you is to be different from them. Let's keep growing and doing well together using Stoic wisdom every day. Until we meet again, take care of yourself and keep building your inner strength.